my uh, paper is based on uh, gender studies but uh, the subject of my paper is not woman uh, uh, this is a latin phrase uh, that you have seen men sana in corpore sano a healthy mind in a healthy body are uh, derived from uh, uh, juvenile stain satire now uh, the papers and talks that we have gone through since yesterday uh, have revolved around the issues of women and also it focused till 1990s if i am not mistaken but uh, my focus would be uh, from 1990s onwards and uh, what are the new uh, arenas of gender studies uh, just uh, for the last 20 years okay uh, so, i mean 1990 to 2020 so uh, this is this is the title of my paper and uh, now my first statement that uh, whenever we think about gender uh, we always trigger necessarily to women only but there are many gender acts and identities as well uh, which are not women in nature now after 30 years of judith butler's gender trouble we still uh, differentiate the gender sex divide that uh, you know gender is social construct and uh, sex is biological thing but uh, you know there is no difference at all between gender and sex because this is the teleology that we can think uh, that uh, it is not that sex comes first gender second or sexuality third actually it is the other way around uh, that when we think of sex we actually think about our sexuality uh, we are retroactively constructing our sex from the presumptions of heterosexuality so it is the heterosexuality that mark the gender of the body when a bo uh, baby is assigned sex on birth now i have to move quickly uh, this is the new area that I have done my research uh, very recently. Uh, masculinity studies, uh, which occupied a discipline of its own uh, in 1990s, and enormous amount of research has been done on this area uh, since 20 years. Uh, now we see a lot of extracts and excerpts, the discourse of LGBTQIA+. Now the plus sign is very celebratory because there are a lot of acts and identities that are coming and are to come in future. Uh, right now we do not have any political identity, uh, you know, political legitimacy of those identities, but this plus is very open embrace. So uh, these studies will help us to look at how genders or masculinities in particular are being manufactured in our, our society at large. Now, uh, this paper is focused on black masculinity uh, because uh, if we talk about white masculinity, that is not inclusive in nature because it only focused on the Western construction of masculinity, not on other constructions of masculinity. And uh, now, in the black masculinity, if you see, there are so many cultural representations and misrepresentations that took place. That's why uh, that study focused on that case. Now, in 2020, if you remember, in US, uh, there was a campaign, Black Lives Matter. Okay, now, now, it was definitely about the pride of in being black, Afro-American, but uh, the black lives are necessarily heterosexual black lives the LGBTQ lives were missed out. So through that campaign, you know, the campaign used to say that we are inclusive, but the campaign itself 
was not inclusive due to the exclusionary politics that they had. So it's time to think about all black lives matter. Now, these are some clippings uh, through which you can remember the Black Lives Matter in U.S., okay, but uh, um, uh, along with the Black Lives Matter,